Hi, I'm Anton from Kelly and Toilets, and today in this talk, I would like to end the confusion in uh, sleep rating requirements in Australian standards. Those are quite well documented in Australian standards 4586 and the guides to the specifications. Australian standards are actually one of the toughest in the world with P5 anti-slip finish, which is the highest, not being uh, uncommon, which is quite unusual compared to actually other countries. Before going too much into details, uh, first thing is actually quite important is to identify whether you're specifying or choosing tiles for dry or wet area. Reason being is, different finishes have different reactions when dry compared to when wet. For example here, uh, this polished tile is actually when dry has more grip than a typical matte tile. The coefficient for friction, which actually is being dictated by Australian standards as well, for polished tile is between 0.60 to 0.70. For matte tiles it actually lower and actually starts at 0.50. To comply with Australian standards, to be considered safe and suitable, it has to be higher than 0.40. Now, let's talk about what is actually really required by Australian standards. However, I would actually like to focus in this talk more on applications and areas that would require uh, interior design, that would require probably striking interior design or some other features where you actually would like to use something like this on the floor that includes hotel lobbies, uh, residential lobbies, residential homes, uh, restaurants, bars, and so on. I probably wouldn't talk about or mention too much about the commercial kitchens, loading docks, ramps, hospitals, something that is actually very functional. I really would like to focus on uh, on areas that really would actually like to have something, something nice, something to be a feature. Let's start with P5, which is the highest and most anti-slip. Uh, surface finish, such as this tile here, or those tiles over here. They actually only required for outdoor uh, ramps steeper than 1 to 14 gradient, which is a quite unique uh, application at the end of the day. Obviously, they also required for certain uh, heavy duty traffic wet areas, such as commercial kitchens uh, or loading uh, docks. But generally, that is kind of uh, all for our commercial or residential applications. Be careful with uh, over specifying this uh, finish because it's actually very grippy, which also means it, it attracts and holds a lot of dirt, which is actually very, very difficult to clean. There are actually even cases uh, where P5 tiles have been installed in the daily department of a supermarket. Uh, but actually the health department didn't like it because of the hygiene purposes. So uh, yeah, be careful with always specifying this. Next one is a P4. P4 is still quite rough tile. It's mainly required for uh, wet stairs, wet stairways, landings, outdoor, as well as behind the bars. Uh, behind the bars, however, you can actually probably choose any other finish and put rubber mats, such as in the picture right here. All right, next one is the P3 top. Actually, most of uh, matte tiles could achieve a P3 rating. And P3 rating is mostly required for outdoor or typically wet areas, especially considering uh, commercial applications. So P3 finish would be required for wet, especially outdoor areas, uh, in including hotels, offices and other public buildings. However, when dry, P1 rating is also sufficient. Similar applies to shopping center, uh, food courts require P3 finish, otherwise uh, for the rest of the shopping center P1 is enough. And uh, any public toilets, facilities in offices, hotels and shopping centers would also require a P3 finish. So to summarize, for most uh, wet slash outer areas, P3 finish would be required. However, uh, P3 finish usually comes in a pretty much more mundane, typical gray colors. Uh, there is not so much design elements 
in, in, in those finishes. So when specifying uh, a P3, check first if it's actually really required. Second, be aware that design would, uh, would not probably be very striking. And also consider actually the maintenance cost, as if you go P3 and especially higher with P4 and P5 tiles, uh, cleaning would actually be costly uh, and quite difficult. Next one is the P2 finish. P2 finish is actually only required for transitional areas, such as in this uh, picture here with the Shangri-La Hotel in Sydney. As you can see, outdoor area is P3, indoor hotel lobby is polished P1, and the transition area needs to be P2. However, here it's actually achieved by providing a simple doormat, and that actually also complies with all Australian standards. Another uh, requirement for P2 is a uh, hotel apartment, uh, bathrooms and kitchens. There's actually a reason why P1 or Polish tiles uh, are used suitable for those applications. So first, like I mentioned before, when dry, it's actually uh, more grippy than, than an average matte tile. Second, it really uh, gives you a lot of opportunities in, in terms of design, such as, for example, again, in, in this particular look. Uh, and third is also the maintenance cost. It's much more easier to clean. That's why most airports, shopping centers actually prefer a polished finish. Evidently, it's up to the end user, a client, designer, to, to choose what interior design, what, what finish you look, what is important from the aesthetical perspective. Um, however, there are a few things obviously to consider. First of all, you need to think about the look. Second is also think about the maintenance. How important is that? Is that going to be in a heavy area where uh, the cleaning is very important? And third, obviously, check with the standards as long as you're compliant with the minimal requirements. Thank you.